Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I hope everybody's doing great. Today I've got a very exciting uh, pedal to show you guys. This is the Gladio from Cornerstone. And I think this is the pedal I was most excited about ever. A couple of years ago, I uh, received the Royal Antique from uh, Emilio from Cornerstone, and I was absolutely blown away with the sound and the quality of that pedal. It gives you that real vintage, uh, what I would say 70s, 80s rock and roll sound. Uh, and I use it all the time. It is my main sound. Uh, and it sort of reminded me, you know, when you buy your first guitar, your first amp, and for me that was, that was decades ago, I have to admit. Uh, and it was an old uh, Fender Twin Reverb, a really, really heavy, loud amp, and it was a bit worn out. Uh, and when I came home, uh, I also bought a brand new uh, Gibson SG, SG at the time. So when I came home and I turned the amp up way too loud, of course, because I didn't know it was going to be that loud. <clears throat> but the sound of it, the, the feel, the immediate response to what you played, uh, even the smell of the tubes that were probably dusty and sort of generated this uh, <laughs> aroma of yeah rock and roll to me. Uh, that sound stuck in my head uh, for hours, forever. And I've been trying to capture that sound in a in a in a form factor that these days we can use on stages where you can't in clubs turn up your twin reverb uh, to six. Uh, and I haven't really found it. I mean, I've got loads of pedals, um, but with the Royal Antique, man, I was there. So when uh, Emilio announced that he was going to make a pedal based on a couple of Dumble amps, I was really, really excited. received it last week, played with it for a couple of days and I must say I'm totally, totally blown away. It's very hard to describe and I, I was worried about doing a, a video uh, with a pedal because I can't do the pedal justice. I can't, get, I can't capture the sound uh, the way you perceive it when you're sitting in front of your ramp or when you're in the room or in the venue. It is, it is for me totally impossible to do it justice. But yeah, I did it anyway. I played around with the settings of the of the pedal a couple of times to do the to do the sound clips, uh, but yeah, it's it doesn't sound anywhere near as good as it is as it does in real life. Channel one has got a compressor, so you can add uh, some compression. Uh, channel two has got a jazz rock setting, so slightly more uh, open sound for the rock uh, setting I find. And then there's a switch in the middle uh, that you need to know about. Uh, if it's on one side, you can stack 
the two channels. If it's to the other side, I don't know which one uh, does what. Uh, it alternates the channels when you press either of the buttons. Uh, every channel's got uh, a gain, a volume, and a tone control. So that's basically it. In the beginning, I cranked up the gains way too uh, much, and then uh, it really sounded good, but it was like a fuzz pedal. It was really good for high gain, fuzzy tones. But if you are more subtle with the settings, and these are the settings I use uh, on all the demos, so I switch from channel one to channel two every now and again, but as you can see, the settings are quite uh, moderate. That's when I think that the pedal uh, really excels. So yeah, here it is, the Cornerstone Gladio, my favorite pedal, and I'm sure if you try it, you'll end up in the same team as I am. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this, please uh, hit the like button, and if you want to get more videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel.